Hey, what's up, Ricardo? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm excellent. How, how was your day? Yes, it's uh, very hard. Every day, very hard. <laughs> before, okay. before, the, before this time, we had a meeting with my boss and the other uh, co-workers. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, just just in the uh, just in, <laughs> in this beginning this class. <laughs> All right. So, what is it? What is it that you do for a living? Uh, I. Uh, I, I, I work in, in, in uh, I, I am a mechanical engineer, uh, so I, I work in the uh, a company then. Oh, that's great. Um, one of my best friends is, uh, one of my best friends' uh, job is to be a mechanical engineer as well. Hey, that's, that's very cool. How long have you been working as a mechanical uh, engineer? It's um, about uh, 30 years, uh, almost 30, 30 years. Not, yeah. not 30, 30. 30, 30 years ago. <laughs> oh my God, how old are you? Yes, it's uh, 50, uh, 56 years old. You're 50, I am 50, 50, yes. 50, 50, 50, 56. 56 years old, yes. Oh, okay. All right, that's awesome. All right, but I'm glad that you're always, you know, you're always smiling. Ah, yeah. Ah, thank you. <laughs> That's good. And yes. being a mechanical engineer, you're, you're pretty smart. You're pretty smart. <laughs> hey, that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. All right. What about you, Jorge Luis? How are you? Hello. All right. There we go. He's at the beach now. What, what beach is that? In Mahawal Beach. Oh, oh, is that from here, from El Salvador? <laughs> No, oh, just kidding, teacher. All right. No, I know, I know that's a that's a that's a mutual background, but I, I was wondering if that's if that was one one of the you know one of the beaches here, but it's not, is it? No, it's not easy. You you, you, you don't know what beach it is? Yeah, no, I don't know. All right. All I'm right. I'm finding I'm finding in the internet the image. The image. All right. You just image. found the image on the, image. the internet. All right. That's awesome. So, so what do you do for a living? So, uh, what do you do for a living, Jorge? Uh, I live in Ciudad Arce. No, what, what do you do for a living is like, what's your, what's your, what type of uh, work do you do? Like something like this, right? Do something like, uh, so like this, right? So, what do you do for a living, all right? What do you do for a living? Got it. All right. So that means like, que, que, que hace de su vida? like de que trabaja, right? So that's that's uh, the meaning of that. All right, so, for me. so, so so what do you do for a living then, Jorge? Okay, uh, I work in a medical park in a factory. Oh. I am an engineer process actually. Oh nice, nice. So you're also an engineer. Yes. yes. Awesome. We got a lot of engineers here. Awesome. All right. Uh, so, Foster, how, how was your day, Foster? Anything interesting that you did today? Good evening, everyone. Uh, no, just working um, and dinner with um, an old friend. Okay. All right. All right. That's that's awesome. Are you are you an engineer, too? Or what, what do you do for a living? I work at Tigo, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. You work at Tigo, right? <laughs> uh, in trade marketing. Nice, awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, uh, let's see who else we got here. Carlos Alfaro, how are you, say, sir? Did you hey, have how a, are you? I'm very good. Did, did you have a hard working day today? Um, no, really, it was very quiet. You know, I'm still with the project that I am, that is a very stressful, but we are finishing. Oh, okay. So you're moving forward with the, with the project. Hey, that's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Okay. All right. So, so what 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 is your 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 um, what is your job position? What what type of? Uh, I'm working as as a you know we work for banks and credit unions. We are an insuring company. I know, First American. Oh, First American. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, All right. So basically, we do report for people in the United States who want a loan with the bank. So we oh, do the okay. report before they apply for a loan. Yeah. Oh, but you is that isn't that from Telus? Are you the yeah. ones who said yeah. that? Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. They got they got that that account right, like First American. Hey, that's awesome. That's awesome, yeah. man. All right. Yeah, it is. It's very right. demanding, though. But it's yeah, good. I know. I heard, you know, I heard about, because uh, I, I interviewed one person today uh, for the Telus Academy. So, um, I, um, yeah, they, 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 they brought up the fact that uh, someone there was working at, in First American. So, hey, very good. Very good. I didn't know that that was like that, that hard, but uh, all right. Good to know. Uh, Arturo Grimaldi, hello, sir. Hello, good evening. Oh, good evening. So, 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 what do you do? What do you do for a living, Arturo? I work in Tigo. Oh, you work at Tigo. At Tigo as a data analyst. And oh yeah, yeah, you're a programmer, right? Um, not exactly, more analysis. Okay, more analysis. Yes. Okay. And uh, but the B2B unit, business unit. Okay, all right. Um, um, okay. Uh, on the on the business unit. Okay. All right, that yes. sounds interesting. What about you, Jessica? Jessica, is that me or, or is it is it the first time that I see you on camera? Uh, no, <laughs> it's a video. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so what do you do for a living? Okay, and uh, analysis, uh, human resource. Oh, you work at human resources. Yeah. For for what company? Uh, for Valdez. Oh, nice, nice, nice. All right. I think I got another person coming from from Valdez who in human resources, but I'm not sure. Like like she's in a different level than you, but uh, yeah. All right, all right. That's that's good to know. All right, welcome. Nice to see you here, right? So, okay, guys. So, let's continue, guys. Um, so, guys, this this week we're going to finish with uh, section number two, of course. All right, guys. So, uh, we discussed personality types yesterday. Do you have any questions regarding personality types? Me, teacher. No question. All right. Are we on pre-advanced now? Yes, we are. <laughs> I'm sorry about yesterday, guys. <laughs> I had like the two, the two things open. So anyways, all right, guys. So uh, guys, we're going to talk about, let's take a look at the lesson objective for today. Ricardo, help me read Ricardo. Okay. Uh, by the end of this class, participant will learn how to use gerund phrases and suggest and objects. Okay. Do me a favor, guys. Try to, uh, very good job. All right. One clap for Ricardo. All right. Matar Mosquito. Good job. Good job. Now, uh, just just take, just remember something, guys. You have to you have to sing when you speak, okay? All right, everybody, go. Repeat after me, guys. By the end of this class, by the end of this class, class, class the participants class. will learn. What well, participants will, will learn, learn how to use how to use how to use, use, use gerund phrases as subjects and objects. Durian, Durian 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 All right, these these small uh, these 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 small bombs that I that I that I uh, that I have drawn here, guys. These are pretty much the intonation, right? So every time that you see this, is like by the end of this class, participants will learn. All right, so try to do it like that when you're reading, guys, because otherwise you sound very robotic, right? In Spanish, you don't say para el final de esta clase, right? You don't read like that, right? You, we, we, we can't sing when we speak as well. All right, beautiful guys, okay? So let's watch the video and be done with the class. Now oh, guys, okay, so guys, so who knows, who knows what, what a gerund is? Be teacher. What a gerund is, sorry. What is a gerund, Arturo? Five, four, three, two, one. All right, no, no. A verb uh, that a verb with, what? Uh -huh. with uh, ing form. Verb. Okay, good job, guys. Okay, write it down in your notebook. I'm going to ask, okay? A gerund is a verb in the 
In the ING form. Good job. Okay, uh, Arturo, pick someone. Pick an engineer, Arturo. Let me see. Uh, Francisco. All right, so let's go with Francisco. All right, Francisco, uh, give me an example yes. of a gerund. A plane. Okay, good job, man. All right, pick someone who likes to listen to Cheyenne. Uh, I don't remember who she is. <laughs> who she is? Uh, let's say Jessica. Elena, I think. Ah, uh, Elena, let's go. All right, let's pretend that Elena likes Cheyenne. All right, give me another okay, learning. example. All right, learning. learning. Give me another one. Okay, coaching. I think that's what I heard. Teaching. Oh, teaching. teaching. All right, teaching. Mm -hmm. All right, good job. All right, uh, pick someone else. Five, four, three, two, one. Jorge, Jorge, thank you. Jorge, give me another one. Washing. Washing, okay. All right, you get the idea, right? Do you have any question about what a gerund is? No? All right, very good, guys. So now uh, we're going to talk about gerunds as subjects and objects okay all right so first of all let's let's uh, let's uh let's talk about subjects okay jessica what is the subject of a sentence okay so i'm gonna say i like playing basketball all right so tell me can you break this down for me could you please break this down for me all right this means guys podría por favor de desglosar eso para mí break down guys means desglosar algo okay if you want to write it down there all right, so uh, break it down for me. What is the subject of this sentence, Jessica? Five, four, three, two. Jessica, you're muted. All right, let's go. What? All right, very good job, all right? So that's the subject. One clap for Jessica. All right, good job, all right? Otro sancudo. Good job. All right, so uh, what else do we have here? All right, what else What, what else do you have? Um, <clears throat> so I, got, I got a subject, okay? Uh, what else? What is like, guys? What is like? Verb. Yeah. All right, so we got a verb in base form, right? All right, and then after that, what do we have here? What is this? Gerund. Yeah. All right, and and then is, this is a gerund, yeah. right? And then we got the yeah. complement. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, so now, this, guys, what do you think? Is this gerund an object or a subject? A subject. A subject. Okay, why do you think it's a, it's a subject? What is the difference between between a subject and an object, guys, okay, versus object. Because this is the difference that I, wanted, uh, I want to make sure that you learn, okay? All right, so let's do something, guys, okay? I give an example of what a subject is, but remember, the subject, all right, the subject, the, 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 the objective of this class, guys, is to teach you um, about using a gerund as, an, as, a, as a subject, right? So let's substitute I, guys. Give me a, give me a gerund. Or give me a gerund. Yeah. Um, Luis Medrano, give me a gerund. Uh, eating. Okay, eating. Okay. Now, guys, now take a look. Check this out. Okay, eating in this case, guys, is the subject of the sentence. Got it? Yes. All right. Very good job. Okay. Eating. Okay. So now give me, give me something else. In this case, guys, you can include, we're going to keep this simple. Simple, okay? We're going to use the verb to be here, all right? So we're going to use eating, all right? And give me a verb to be. Uh, let's see. Please pick someone who has not participated. Go. Uh, let me check. Uh, Arturo. All right, Arturo, let's go. Eating, all right? Now give me the verb to be. Eating is... Um, eating is important. To survive eating is important to survive okay beautiful guys okay now guys notice something uh we just congratulations to you guys because you just transformed a verb okay uh, a gerund into a subject why is it the subject guys why do you think that we call this a subject elena why it became a subject <laughs> um uh -huh. because it's the um... Is the uh, uh, I don't know how to explain it. I'm sorry. All right, that's okay. That's okay, right? Who can who can tell me why? Why do you think that this is considered a subject, Ronnie? You raised your hand. I think I, I uh -huh. think that 
it's a subject because it's a, a third person in this case. Beautiful job because it's what we are referring to, okay? Eating, guys. Eating no longer is a, a verb here. It is a verb, guys, but in this case, okay, it's like we're talking about a pronoun. Or it's like we're talking about it, all right? Eating, eating in this case, guys, becomes some becomes like the subject it, okay? It's like saying it is important, all right, to survive. Got it? Got it, got it, got it? Yeah. All right, so just think about, all right, don't complicate your lives, all right? Just think about, uh, just think about the, the gerund as, as the, the pronoun it, okay? So everybody send me examples right now in the, ch in the chat, okay? Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to keep asking. Uh, so who wants to give me another example? Me teacher. Five, four, three. I'm going to pick, guys. I'm going to pick. Carlos Alfaro, give me another example. Uh, I would say doing yoga is helpful for the mind. And doing body. yoga, what? Is helpful. Is helpful. Helpful. For the mind and body. For the mind and body. Okay, beautiful job. Doing yoga is helpful for the mind and body. Okay, doing yoga would be the subject in this case. Beautiful, guys. All right, so far, guys, so far so good, or do you have any question? Question, 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 question. No question? All right. If I, if I, uh, if I quiz you on this, would you get a 10? Would you ace it? Se sacarían un 10 si les hago un quiz? Maybe. All right. All right, let's take a look at the examples, okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, Jessica, pick someone with beautiful armpits. Beautiful you know what? what? Armpits. Do you know what armpits are? No. All right, axilas, all right? Pick someone with beautiful armpits. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know. Maybe Brenda Lopez? Brenda Lopez, okay, all right. Help me read the three examples that we got here. Okay, running for office one. Boring is important responsibility. Let's, okay. let's discuss improving our school. I will keep fighting for a new hospital. Okay, beautiful guys. In this scenario, the first scenario here, guys, what is the subject here? Boring. 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 Voting, right? Boring. Voting, all right. So now we're gonna take a look, guys. Okay, keep sending me your examples right now, guys. We're gonna take a look at the uh, as using as using them as objects, but not not right now. Okay, right now, keep sending me your examples. I only have Elena, Ricardo, and Francisco, guys. I need everybody sending me your examples in the chat room right now. All right. So I got I got uh, playing is excellent for kids. Good job. Sleeping is good for health. Okay, sleeping is good for your health or for people's health. Ricardo, you guys specify. Uh, who you're talking about there. Playing is funny for all kids. Okay, good job. Keep sending me examples, guys, right? All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, or who watching the, the, the thieves? I... Now, uh, Jorge, I think that you want to say cepillarse los dientes, right? Jorge? Uh, yes, teacher. Brushing. All right, it's brushing your brushing. teeth, okay? okay? All right, just uh, Francisco, learning is important too for our future. Good job. Uh, walking is a good exercise for health. Very good job. Uh, studying is important to develop knowledge. Good job. Jogging is helpful for now for uh, for the heart for heart 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 condition jogging is helpful for your heart okay uh, driving a long time is G is hard to me it's hard to me. <laughs> all right driving for a long time okay uh, driving for, for right? okay. it's a okay uh, it's a prepositional phrase uh, learning doesn't care to youth Arturo, learning doesn't care to youth. I have no idea what you're trying to say there. Uh, learning. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're trying to say there. What are you, what are you trying to say there, Arturo? 
learning um, <laughs> doesn't care to the to the youth. Okay. Que el, que el aprendizaje no le importa a la juventud. Okay, so youth doesn't care about learning. All right, it's it's yeah, it's really, yeah. that that will be youth doesn't care about learning like that. All right, if you want to use uh, learning as a subject, you should say learning. Um, learning is useless for, for you. the youth. Okay, or so you could I... say learning uh, is uninteresting. So I, it's not an interesting. So I okay. just have to to use to be when the gerund is a um, subject. No, the reason why we're using the verb to be only, guys, is because I don't want to get you confused. All okay. right. Uh, if I tell you, you can say reading can be really really important. Eating, uh, eating um, could be something that can be done by animals as well. All right. So you can use can if you want, but I don't want to get you confused right now. We're, we're, doing, we're going step by step, okay? But good job, guys. Good example. So you understood. Very good. Very good, okay? All right, guys. So uh, help me read. Uh, Mrs. Brenda Lopez. Let's go. Help me read. All right, sorry. Brenda, you're muted. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. That's okay. Ajaran is, a base, is the base form of a verb. Of a verb, plus uh -huh. ing, gerund can be used as a noun. Beautiful Verb job. Mm -hmm. Plus mm -hmm. ing equal noun. Work. Okay, guys. Mm -hmm. Continue. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Plus ing working. Good job, guys. Okay, so this is what I was explaining to you guys. Okay. All right. Now, uh, this is what I was talking about, about converting it to a subject, okay? So who wants to help me read this part, guys? Big hey, teacher. Hey, teacher. All right, let's go. Go for it. A gerund can be the subject of a sentence. It is always singular. Use a third person singular verb after a gerund. Okay, beautiful job, guys. Okay, so check this out, guys. I needed to write this down, okay? It is always singular. It is always, guys, everybody, so it is always singular, singular, singular okay? Singular. All right, so what are you going to use, guys? What are you going to use uh, before, before a gerund? A third person. A third person. A third person. Good job, okay? So, yeah, all right, remember the example that I gave you, right? You said eating is healthy, blah, 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 right? So this is going to become a third person. What type of third person did you tell you? Did I tell you this, this was going to be? What, what pronoun? What personal pronoun? It, it, it right? It, it, it is, it, it's not exactly it, guys, okay? It's just voting, but just so you can you can make sense of it, just take it as, it, as if it is it, okay? Beautiful, guys. All right. So let's take a look at the following examples here. See? So now, guys, can you notice? So you were asking me, hey, hey teacher, can you use another verb other than, than is? Yes, you can use other verbs, guys. All right. It's like, again, um, it's like, like, like using a third person subject. All right. So what is, what do you notice here, guys, about third person? There what is an object. All right. There is something here that tells you, okay, so if this is third person, guys, all right, choosing a candidate. What? Thanks. Okay. Take hey, Sam, right? Elegir a un candidato toma tiempo, right? Votar es importante, uh, es una responsabilidad importante, right? It's like in Spanish, guys, when you say, uh, cuando ponen un verbo al principio de una frase, all right? Eso lo transforma, guys. It's, it's the same thing that we're talking about here, okay? So, yo puedo decir, I don't know, if you, if you can come up with another idea of, of uh, something that you would say in Spanish, guys, all right? You can, you can translate it here, all right? So far, so good, guys. Any question? All right. So, okay, guys. So, if you if you don't have any question, guys, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna make you practice right now. Okay. All right. Do you want more examples before we practice? Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. Very good. Give me a verb then. Give me a verb, and then we're gonna build another example. Watching. 
Okay. Hey, very good. I like it. Okay, watching. Okay, so you can say watching is watching. Ah, uh, what else, guys? What else? What else can, do you think that we can use here? Actually, let me use the, the whiteboard. Hold on. Watching a. Uh... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, whiteboard. Jesus Christ, where's the whiteboard? Right, hold on, guys. Oh, hold on, I know. I have forgotten. <laughs> All right, good job. So we got the whiteboard here, guys, okay? All right, guys, so uh, beautiful job. So you say watching, okay? Watching is better, okay? So let's let's just be creative, guys. You can say watching a. Uh, all right, you can say watching S. What else, guys? Can I say watching R? No. Why no. not? Why can I not say that? This is a person, Luca. It's a plural. Because it's singular, right? Because it's third singular. person. Good job. Good job. You're paying attention. All right, watching. You can say watching TV. Uh, what else? Watching what, guys? What else watching can we movies. say? Watching movies. Watching movies, watching with, watching, all right, uh, I don't know, Maria La del Barrio, is it? Maria La del Barrio. All right, so let's let's get examples, okay? So let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, someone has not participated here. Uh, Gloria, all right, watching, ah, give me an example with watching, ah, you got five seconds. Five, four, okay. three, um, two. Too slow. Let's go. Luis Medrano, watching a what? Five. A movie? Watching a movie. Watching a movie what? Continue. Give me something, something watching more creative. Watching a movie with my friends. With my friends, huh? Five, uh, four, three. A cinema? In a cinema? <laughs> All right. At the, at the movie at theater. The movie, yeah. Three. All right. Good job. All right. Uh, Gloria, give me the other one. Watching is... Five, four. Watching is very exciting. Not very, right? Kumasu, no. Don't say very, okay. guys, right? Very. Repeat this, very. It's, be it's very exciting. Exciting. Okay, good job. Thank you, right? I was kidding. Uh, Gloria, all right. All right, watching TV. Uh, let's see, Arturo. Give me an example. We're watching TV. Watching TV what? Five, four. Watching TV three. is... Yes. Five, yes. two. One, too slow, man. Jorge, let's go. Watching TV is what? Watching TV. Five, four, three, two. Jorge, you're muted, right? Ricardo, watching TV is what? Watching TV. Five, four, three, two. Old school. Watching TV. Old school. Watching TV. It's old school, okay? Uh, hey, good job. Who said that? Who said that? me all right good job a plus for arturo guys Woo, good job arturo all right uh watching movies okay watching movies let's see um uh jessica all right jessica you're too quiet this hey guys i have a task for you guys okay watching movies uh, hold, on, hold on hold on hold on before we continue right i got a task for you okay let's 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 play something okay you're gonna be how do you call someone guys who points fingers like all the time uh, in English, guys, it's called the whistleblower. The, the whistle, the whistle blower. Repeat, guys, whistleblower. Whistleblower. El soplapitos. Okay. Now, the whistleblower, guys, it's, it's true, guys. That's what it means. Okay. La traducción exacta es soplapitos, right? No, I mean uh, soplapitos, right? Now, what that means, guys, okay, uh, that sounds yeah. so bad in Spanish. But this is a person, guys. This is a person. Uh, for example, I see Luis, all right, smooshing, smooshing with another girl, like kissing another girl, right? That is not his girlfriend, right? And I go and tell his girlfriend, I am a whistleblower. Creo que es pone dedo in Spanish, all right? Something like that, okay? All right, so, okay, so you're going to be whistle whistleblowers, guys, okay? All right, you're going to tell me who has been really quiet, all right? Me decir quien ha estado bien calladito, okay? Because that person is going to be my participant. Got it? 
Yes. All right, beautiful, beautiful, right? <laughs> All right, guys, so watching movies. Jessica, you got five seconds. Five, four. Watching movies is an activity that is spend time. Okay, it's an activity that spend time. Is that correct, guys? What do you think? The mistake is here, okay? All right, watching movies is an activity that, all right, that what? Try to, try to correct it, Jessica. You were doing good, all right? What, what do you want to say? Ver, ver películas son actividad que, que what? Spending. Okay, you want to say que, que toma mucho tiempo. Is that what you want to say, Jessica? Okay, that takes a long time, okay? All right, Jessica, repeat. Watching movies is an activity that takes a long time. Watching movies is an activity that takes a long time. All right, don't tell me. Don't say watching movies, okay? Don't say watching. Watch Che Chucho. All right, repeat. Watching. 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 All right, watching. all right. Watching is like washing, right? Like a washing machine. All right, good job. All right. One clap for Jessica. Good job. All right, so let's see. Who has been quiet, guys? Tell me. Tell me who's been really quiet. How am I whistleblower? <laughs> <laughs> Who's being really quiet? Tell me. Hey, come on. <laughs> hey, now nobody wants to be a whistleblower. All right, Jelena, let's go, Elena. Watching with, okay? Uh, watching with captions. Uh, okay. It could be, it could improve my English. It could improve my English, okay. Good job, guys, and applause. Woo! And applause for me, guys, because there is a mistake here. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Just kidding. No. Applause for you. All right, now, there is a mistake, guys, but what is the mistake? Elena, you, you want to find the mistake? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, it will be watching movies with caption. I'm using. No, that's not, that's not the mistake. Yeah, we got to remove something to, ah, okay. to fix the, the sentence. So what do you think? It is... It improves. It, very good, guys. It, guys, watching is the subject. So we don't need another subject, guys, okay? Watching with captions could be could improve my English. You got it? So, el error fue este, guys. Vos está, me estás diciendo, vos querés decir, ver películas con, con subtítulos podría mejorar mi inglés, all right? Pero me dijiste ver películas con él, me dijiste ver películas con ellos, con sí. ellos, Eso. All right, like I don't know, something like that, okay? You were using uh, two subjects. Really okay. Yeah, you said watching with caption with captions, it could be it could improve my English, all right? That's what you said. Uh, yes, I, I said can. <laughs> that is, that's okay. it's, it's the same. Okay, this this is not a mistake, uh, Elena. This can is okay. Could is okay. That is not the mistake, all right? Yeah, I no, yeah, I, I understand. All right, got it. Saying. All right, yeah, mm -hmm. that Thank that's you. not the mistake. That's not the mistake. The mistake is that you use it, a double subject, okay? All right, but you can use can or could. Doesn't matter. All right, uh, beautiful. Uh, let's see who else has been quiet. Uh, Brenda Lopez. Okay, watching Mariela del Barrio. Tell me. <laughs> All right, let's let's talk about watching Mariela del Barrio. Let me write it down. Uh, type it in here. Uh huh. I don't know, teacher. Nah, don't say I don't know. There is no time for I don't know, right? <laughs> what you might hear the better what? It's education. It's me life. What? It's me life. Okay, all right, all right. Try it's it, right? Romantic. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can see watching Maria de la Barrio is. Very He's romantic, sad. okay. Very what romantic. else? What else can you say? What else can you say? All right, I only want Brenda to answer, okay? Nobody else <laughs> say anything, right? So Brenda, what else can you say? Watching Maria del Barrio is an old program. Okay, is an old 
Ok, an old program. Ver Mariela del Barrio es un antiguo programa. Is that what you want to say? No, I want to say that uh -huh. it's for old person. Oh, if it's for old. What is the plural of, of person, Brenda? Huh? What is the plural of person? Because it's... No, okay, right. Listen to the question. What is the plural form of person? Person? No. Well, I yes, don't know. but that's... People? Hey, People, people, okay, for all people. Do not say, do not say, I don't know, Brenda. There is no, I don't know here. Okay. Okay? All right, good job, plus for Brenda, guys. Beautiful. Good job, guys. Okay, all right. So, guys, topic for you, guys. Okay. All right. So you're gonna answer this question to me, okay? Why do you think voting is important? All right. All right. Let's repeat, guys. Why do you think voting is important? Why do you think voting is important? Repeat, everybody. Why do you think voting is important? Why do you think voting is important? All right. So you're going to say, for example, voting is important because, because what? What can you say? My teacher, go. Voting is important because, go, Ronnie. Voting is important because... It's a choice for for, for our authorities. Because it, because it's what I'm sorry. Because we choosing uh, author, uh, our authorities. You mean because we can it's, express uh, our opinion, oh, maybe? No, okay. We can choose. Choose. We can choose. Podemos. Oh, okay, we can choose. Okay, we can choose our, our authority. Okay. Authority. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Sorry. I got it. I got it. I understand. Thank you. That's a good example. Good job. What else, guys? These are examples. I didn't want you to use these, guys. These are just examples. Okay. Jesse. Jesse, let's go. Uh, voting is important because improve the democracy. Okay. All right. Voting. Voting is important because. Repeat, guys. It improves, it improves. It improves. It improves. our democracy. Our democracy. Okay, all right. Democracy. All right. So the sentence structure there, Jessica, but good job. All right. What else, guys? Give me one last example and then you practice. What else can we say about voting? Uh, Elena, give me another, the last example before we, we move on. Uh, uh, because um, anybody have has to choose for you. Because nobody, nobody else <laughs> has to choose for you. Okay. All right. Good job. Okay. That's. that's All right. Yeah. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. It's okay. All right. Good job, guys. So, hey, I have me. a question. Tell me. Why in the in the letter B we we can use it. Good question, all right? I was waiting for someone to ask me for that. All right, um, now guys, we already have a sentence here, okay? All right, which is using the subject. So you can't say voting is important because improves. Uh, it doesn't make sense grammatically, guys. Uh, when you're talking, it doesn't make sense. I know where you're coming from with this question then, but uh, after you use because, okay, just think about it, after you use because, you have to use the subject again. Got it? So every time you use because, guys, you have, like, if you're gonna start with a, if you're gonna, if you're gonna start with a verb, guys, you cannot combine. Basically, guys, you cannot combine because plus a verb. You can in some scenarios, but not in this, guys. Okay? So in this case, when you use because, you have to use the subject again. Okay? So in this case, I could say voting is important because voting. Uh, allows you to choose your, your you know, your author, your authority, all right? So you could use it again, all right? Good question, though, all right? All right, guys, any other question? No more questions? All right, good job. Let's go. Let's go.
Oh, look, my bottle of water turns invisible. <laughs> All right, guys, let me hear you. We are going to talk about the voting. What? 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 Another bird. No, you're going to talk about voting right now. The question. Uh, what was the question that I asked you? Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, voting is important because we need to to choose our president. I don't know how do you say diputados. Ah, uh, the senators. <laughs> the senators. <laughs> the rats. The rats. Okay. But I, uh -huh. I think uh, that I think is important to 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 voting. I think voting is important. All right, but I want you. I'm not going to interrupt you again. I'm sorry uh, for interrupting you right now. Um, I want you to 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 be more detailed. Okay, I don't want you to say one sentence. If you tell me okay. one sentence, that's not that's not fluent. Okay, I want you to sound fluent. Give me more examples. So in Spanish, que puede, like, yo sé que en español me dirías como un millón de cosas, ¿por qué, <laughs> ¿por qué votar es importante o por qué crees que no es importante, right? So do the same in English, man. No me digas una oración. Eh, votar es importante porque sí, right? Not, not like that, man, all right? So, all right, let's go, guys. Because, um, uh, it's, uh, because we have to, to, to choose uh, uh, the authorities, uh this, this this is okay what about you voting is important because um, i think um, we need to um to apply the liars laws laws <laughs> legis all right the laws yes and we need to to say what we thinking about we have to <laughs> okay we have to express or say what we think about okay yes 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 i i think i it's for for me it's the same because it's a uh, whatever that's the opinion about the 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 politics <laughs> the politics the politics okay all right all right, now I want you to sound like, I want you to be really fluent, guys. Like, I don't want very short answers regarding this. Uh, because in Spanish, you wouldn't say like very short answers if I asked you about uh, what, 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 what you thought about voting, right? You wouldn't come up with, with such short things. Um, so uh, what I'm saying, guys, no quiero que me estén diciendo, guys, respuesta bien corta de como, quiero que votar es importante porque sí, right? No. All right, in Espanol, me dirían una respuesta, uy, no, hay que tener, ¿por qué no votar, loco, right? Like, something like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, I want you, all right, I want you, I want you to discuss, and maybe, maybe, for example, in my personal opinion, I, I will not vote again, not in this country, man. Like, I don't, I think voting is important, but I have a strong opinion about voting this in this country right now okay that's my personal opinion I, and i would say why but it's it's your turn to practice okay, okay. all right so let's go okay okay, <laughs> okay Ricardo, I... um using your computer mostly mostly okay nice carlos nice Okay, uh, another exercise for me, uh, I think so, uh, working is a very important for the people because uh, I take uh, our leaders to, to make the economy better. Mm -hmm. I think that voting is important because you, You can, or you contribute to democracy. Mm -hmm. Yes, voting, let's say another example, voting is important because... An um, example, um, playing guitar is something I like, or playing guitar is something I really like, or I, re or I really love. 
Don't, don't forget. Sorry to, to cut you short, man. All right, don't forget the, um, the topic that we're discussing right now, guys, because I want you to, I want, I want to hear how you sound fluent, okay? okay? Like voting is a topic that you can talk a lot, a lot about. In Spanish, you, if I asked you that in Spanish, you would say, Puya, votar es importante porque sí. Ya se acabó la conversación. No, right? You have a strong opinions about that, so I want to hear your strong opinions, right? I want to see hear how fluent you sound. All right, so Elena, help, let me hear you. Um, but it's important because um, you have to to give the example for children. Okay. What else? Why? Why do you think that you have to give an example for children? Uh, because they have to learn to choose uh, uh, an authority for a country or for nations or the world. <laughs> Why? We what we was we weren't uh, talking about that even. So that's why, why? I'm thinking that. Um, I see, guys. So so what I want you to know. What I want you to notice, guys, is that when you're talking about any topic, guys, solo preguntas el porqué de las cosas. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Right? So, hey, votar okay. es importante porque creo que contribuye al desarrollo económico del país. ¿Por qué? 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 Right? So, always give, like, go okay. into details. All right? So, that's what I want to hear from you, okay? Um, let's go, Foster. Let me hear you. Okay, I guess uh, voting is important because um, it's... It's the way the the system works, and uh, Why? we got we got a vote uh, because uh, for the econ economics, um, the political life, it's uh, there's no way to escape from of that. Uh, the Why? Political, because uh, always political, political, and uh, the laws are political. Um, but why are the laws political? The laws. Uh, also, <laughs> I guess. Um, All right, good job. Hey, I liked it, man. All right. Okay, you you, you started off uh, with the right foot, man. That's 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 pretty good. Okay. All right. Okay. So uh, so try it, Lynn. Okay. That that's kind of like a good answer. Okay. All right. Good job, guys. Okay, good job. Thank you. Uh, we are speaking. Okay. What? <laughs> Did you, get, did you get lost or something? What happened? Sorry? Did you get lost? Did something happen? No? No. All right. Very good. Uh, okay. Any questions? We start a... No, teacher. We start a, a speak about the voting important. But now we are a speak about the other... Or other okay, all right. We we time to go back now. Okay. Okay. Right. Good job. Thank you. Okay, guys. So we gotta move on, guys. We actually gotta. Um, so we have to finish the platform. We have to finish. I'm sorry. We have to finish the section number two by tomorrow, because we gotta start up with uh, with the midterm already. Now, before we, we move on to that, guys, okay, uh, let's just quickly review something here, okay? So, guys, every time, okay, every time they use, um, they use certain verbs, okay, we're going to use two verbs here, okay? So, we're going to use suggest and enjoy, okay? So, help me read the, the, example, the example that we got here, Gloria. Gloria, five, four, three, okay. two. I, I suggest um, improving. Sorry? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Go. Okay. Uh, the example, I yes. suggest improving our school. Very good job, guys. Okay, so guys, this is, I'm not going to dedicate a long time explaining you this because this one is much simpler, okay? Every time that you suggest, guys, okay, if you say I suggest, she suggests, all right? So suggest, uh, enjoy, love, like, okay? 
So whenever you say this, guys, we have uh, a subject, right? A subject plus this, guys. You're gonna use a gerund. You're gonna use a gerund. All right, simple as that, guys. Okay. Pretty much, guys. Certain verbs uh, always use gerunds. Okay. So uh, you can say subject plus love and subject plus like, whatever. All right, so quick example, guys. Okay, so uh, let's see. Give me a subject, uh, Foster. Give me a subject. Subject. Yeah, give me one. A pronoun, mm -hmm. a name, whatever. Uh, he or she. Okay, oh. he. Uh, he suggests, okay, he suggests what? Five, four, three, two. Anyone? Who can help me? He suggests. He suggests working part time. Working, okay. Working part time, okay. He suggests working part time. Good job, man. All right, that's a good example. See you guys. So after these verbs, guys, you just use ing, a gerund, okay. Francisco, give me another example. Uh, give me a subject and then give me the a gerund. Go. Uh, they uh, enjoying. They enjoy, they enjoy. They enjoy, I'm sorry. They enjoy uh, playing video games. Playing video games, good job, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, uh, pick someone else, go. Um, Ricardo. Ricardo, okay. All right, Ricardo. All right, uh, Ricardo loves, okay. Ricardo loves. Love reading, reading. You should be writing it down in your notebooks, guys, okay? Okay, Ricardo loves reading books, okay? Reading Good job. Yes. All right, Ricardo, pick someone else, go. Uh, Ronnie, caballero. Ronnie, okay, Ronnie, give me another example. With like. Ronnie, five, <laughs> four, three, two. Sorry, sorry, sorry. she likes. <laughs> okay. She likes. She likes. She likes cooking. She likes cooking, all right. This is okay, right? She likes spaghetti. cooking. Spaghetti, spaghetti. Spaghetti, okay. I think it's spelled like this, spaghetti, right? Something like that, all right? Beautiful, guys, a plus for you. Beautiful, 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 right? Now, guys, don't worry about the object of the sentence. The object of the sentence is, write it down in your notebook, what we are talking about, okay? What we refer to, all right? But simple, simple put, guys, anytime that you see, uh, this verb, okay, suggest, uh, enjoy, love, or like, guys, you can say the ing form of the verb. Got it? When we have two verbs together, guys, two verbs together, all right, we have two options. The two options, what do you think those options are? A, you use an infinitive, or B, you use a gerund. Got it? So you can say, I love to cook, or you can say, I love what? Cooking. Cooking. Okay. It means the same, got it? All right, beautiful, guys. Any question? <clears throat> no question? All right. We're going to go a little bit faster, guys. All right, guys, so, um, hoy, guys, necesito que terminen, necesito que terminen toda esa sección para hoy, right? Necesito que me envíen mañana, en la tarde, a la hora que quieran, guys, antes de la clase, okay? Uh, necesito que me envíen el screenshot de que tienen esa sección al 100%. Si no la terminan, no se preocupen, pero por lo menos terminen la sección hasta los gerunds, ¿ok? Así que van a hacer este ejercicio, ¿ok? Right? Uh, watch these uh, comparisons. Uh, mañana vamos a terminar toda esta sección y vamos a empezar la 3. Esto de comparisons es rapidito, ¿ok? Right? So, if you have any questions, let me know, guys, in the chat room, ¿ok? All right, so we're going we're gonna to jump over the, uh, we're going to jump to the next session, guys, which is which is comparisons before we leave, okay? All right, before we jump into that, guys, do you have a question regarding uh, gerunds as, as subjects or objects? Questions, 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 all right. Good job. Quick quiz, all right. Uh, let's see, Carlos. So what are the two options that you have when you have two verbs together? Five, four, Three. 
All right, I'll I'll repeat. What are the two options that you have when you when you have two two verbs together? I just explained it, guys. Jared, me, Jared, and Jared and infinitives. Infinitives. Good job. Those were cards, guys. Good job, guys. Todo lo que voy diciendo escribiendo en su cuaderno, right? Beautiful. All right. So comparatives, guys. Do you know what? A, does anybody have any idea what a comparative is? Compare. All right. What do you think comparative sounds like, guys, in Spanish? Compare. What compare. do you think it sounds compare like? Teacher. Exactly, guys, to compare, okay? So when we talk about comparing, guys, all right, those are called comparatives, all right? Comparative mm -hmm. with nouns, okay? Now, guys, we have two types of comparatives, okay? Hi, everyone. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain this real simple. Hold on. There are two types of comparatives. All right, so a comparative, guys, is basically an adjective, okay? What is an adjective? Who can give me, who can give me an adjective? Faster. What? No, just the adjective. Don't give me the comparative. Give me the adjective. Fast. Fast, okay. Uh, what else? Best. Give me another one. What? Best. Okay, Best. Uh, all right, good. In that case, that would be good. The adjective, okay? All right, that's a superlative. All right, uh, give me another adjective, guys. Slow. All right, slow. What else? Give me another one. Tall. Tall. Okay, tall. Okay, beautiful. Okay. So, guys, are these... Now, guys, uh, how many syllables do you see in these adjectives? One. Just one. Just one. Fast, good, slow. Okay, mm -hmm. are these short? Short words or long words? Short, short words. Short, okay, short so words. short adjectives, okay? With short adjectives, guys, the, the, the rule is that you add ER. You add what? Yeah, ER. All right, this one is special, guys. Good. All right, this should be better. All right, this is, a, this is an irregular adjective, so we're not going to use it here. All right, slower. Tall, tall what? Taller, very good, okay. Now, who can give me long adjectives? Mm. Me teacher, long adjectives. Beautiful, beautiful. Is that short or long, guys? Long. Mm -hmm. All right, now, do me a favor. Describe your teacher, okay? Give me, describe me. Talkative. All right, let's All right, voy a sacar de la clase que me right? Talkative, okay? Talkative. All right, good job. All right, what else? What else? Uh, handsome, right? Handsome. Guys, well, what, what about handsome? Okay, handsome, short or long? Long. Long, right? Okay. All right, what else, guys? What else? What else am I? Tell me. Dynamic. And dynamic. dynamic. Good job, dynamic. Okay, what else? Entertainment. Yeah. Entertaining, okay. Right. Entertaining. What else? What else am I? Into that. All right, hold on. I'm gonna pick people with mute, guys. Okay. Someone who's quiet. Uh, Brenda. What else? Give me another one. Intelligent. Intelligent. Oh yeah, that I am. Intelligent. <laughs> I really consider them very smart, guys. Uh, intelligent. Very good. Um. In, what? Influencer. Influencer. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not an influencer. <laughs> <laughs> but this would be influencing, okay? Good job. Uh, okay. Elena, give me another one. Um, All right, boy. <laughs> Think cheerful. about it. Cheerful, okay? Cheerful. Good job. Cheerful. I like that. Uh, Carlos, give me another one. All right, I think that's enough examples, guys. Okay, so guys, with these guys, if you see, guys, okay, how many syllables, how many syllables do we have here? Beautiful, how many syllables is that? Three syllables. What Three about syllables. here? What about here? Three syllables. Three syllables, Three all right, syllables. What, about, what about here? Two. 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 Okay, two. dynamic, how many? Three. All right, so we can conclude two or, or more syllables most of the times. We add the word more. We add the word more. 
more, okay, more, more beautiful. Before the okay. verb. Before, before no, the this is not adjective. a verb. The adjective, okay? All right. More talkative, okay? What else? More handsome. More what? More the dining. More More Okay, so things like that, okay? Is it clear, guys? Si, yeah. si, si, quedo claro? All yes. right. Adjetivos largos? Le agregan qué? What do you no, add? No. More. All more. right. Y adjetivos cortos? It you are. add? Uh, All, right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sometimes, guys, okay, va a tener cosas como happy, okay? Happy, it's two syllables, all right? But it's a short adjective, okay? Si lo ven, it's a, it's a short adjective, right? Lo que hace es que le, le sustituye la Y, right? You substitute the Y and you add I-E-R, okay? okay? In these scenarios, guys, you have to substitute that and add I-E-R, okay? All right, guys, so take a screenshot, guys, so write it down, study at home. All right, uh, thank you for your beautiful adjectives, okay? Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, I want you to finish finish the section, please, all right? Uh, tomorrow we're going to continue with this subject, um, but I do need you to finish that because um, pretty much I will need you to be doing the midterm um, by the end of this week, okay? Like on Friday, maybe, right? All right, so everything good, guys? I have another class right now. Thank you for stopping by. I will see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Love you. High five to you. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank, Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Thank you. Have a good night, guys. Good night. Good night.